The, what I hope to accomplish, and I think this will be of use as I've understood what the purpose of the conference is, is I want to give a little guiding tour of the current rules and mechanisms now implementing the version of globalization and trade we're living under. The notion being that you guys are all vocal participants in your communities, you're activists in your unions, you are the folks whose voices will help educate other people. So to feel comfortable, we, we know it's not worked, right? We know the NAFTA WTO model's not working. But to make people feel really comfortable being able to describe the problems and to advocate for changes, in my experience, what is typically very important is to feel really comfortable with the subject matter. And this is a subject matter that has been made intentionally confusing by those who seek to basically baffle us with bullshit so that they can get their way while pretending it's some very ornate, careful, we're not smart enough to get it. And it's basically camouflage to sneak in with an agenda that we all know about. It's actually not anything so new. It was packaged in a different delivery mechanism. And so what I want to do first is unpack a little bit of how these particular instruments work, what the hell is NAFTA anyway, and specifically how it has resulted in some of the serious problems that have ensued, and then to review some of the data of what the outcomes are, number two, because over the past 15 years that this old trade model has been in place, you know, when NAFTA and the fight over the World Trade Organization, the Central American Free Trade Movement were happening, we all speculated what would happen. This is not going to be good for us. Unions opposed it, groups like mine, public citizen, the consumer group opposed it, the environmental groups opposed it, but we didn't know for sure. We can look at the writing and try and guess what would happen. Now we have 15 years of actual lived results. And it's been devastating. It's our strongest argument. Because I have a threat and words agreement. So after World War II, there was an attempt to come up with some global agreement. And I'm going to walk around and hopefully this might get me. And the idea was there should be one global trade agreement that was GATT, General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. It only covered trade in goods, so that everyone, besides having a copy of the slide that folks can use, our website, Trade Watch, it's got talking points, it's got the data. If you want to dig in on the details of any of these issues I've talked about, if you want to actually get the damn study about how drugs got more expensive because of WTO, our website is the place to go. Eyesontrade.org, it's a blog. You get updates about twice a week. It's the breaking news and dirt on trade politics and also on stuff that's happening internationally. So when one of these new cases breaks, that can be a great argument point. For instance, a bunch of our friends in the building trades are on that, because we're tracking a case where maybe a foreign firm is actually threatening Davis Bacon as an illegal procurement conditionality. And so they're, they're all clicking over, they've got it to happen today. It hasn't, by the way. I think we've dodged that. The, the books, Who's Trade Organization? is one that I have done that you can get boxes of at cost. See me if you want to have some to distribute to do training because we buy them in bulk. We have, what the, we have the office right. And so then we're not supposed to, but we give them to friends at cost. Um, it has all the WTO data and cases because it's the global, the global is international agreement. In each of our countries, we need to do the political work to get our elected officials who are the only way we're going to get accountability is you know, some foreign bureaucrat at the WTO. I can't do anything about him. I can't work for this. I'm going to lack him or not. The only people who we have any account need to add the missing things. Like, why the hell would the International Labor Organization labor rights standards be the floor 